Good morning everybody, it's Denise here, Denise Junk Journals UK, coming to you from a ooh, very cold this morning, Lincolnshire, and um, yeah, the windows are all condensed up on the outside, so I'm guessing it's it's pretty cold, or it's been pretty cold out there, and I've got um, the fire on nice and high in here, so uh, <laughs> I guess all the water from outside is condensing on the windows at the moment, but the sun looks like it's on its way up, so yeah, that should clear it soon, so hi hello welcome for visiting me how are you and how is your weather let me know in the comments so we're back on today um to do probably the final i'm not sure the final bit of work on the um winter bouquet i still can't get that still doesn't just trip off my tongue the winter bouquet um digitals journal that i'm making um i think this might be the third think perhaps the third video now on film and um video on film very funny we made this last was it last year i think that was last video anyway i've stuck it on stuck it on as a pocket my only regret is actually that i didn't back it and make it a little bit stronger it is only thin card um you know it could be a little bit more robust i mean it's strong enough for something to go in don't know what yet um <coughs> Yeah, but it, it can't be really stuffed. So um, since you saw it, I've simply added a butterfly. I've missed using butterflies and I think that one just went really well on here. So it is really a winter album. Um, you know, the winter pages inside, but there's a lot of florals on it. So I thought, what the heck? <laughs> Let's have a blingy butterfly on the front. And um, a crocheted circle, which when I first started, um, junk journaling and I didn't have very you know very little of anything I went around the house collecting junk as people <laughs> you know tell you to but I had very little um, and I am a knitter and a crocheter um, so I crocheted some of these little circles people were using them at the time actually and all I had was some embroidery thread so I just crocheted them with I think about five uh, five strands all together and I just unearthed a couple that I'd forgotten about so I thought I'll use it up and pop it on there put a little bling on it um, I think it goes. It, it's more is more. This uh, this topper. Let me see if you can get a good good view without me shaking. Yep. Yeah. So I've put the um, lace up the side as well, and I've put the corners on. So all things really that needed uh, to glue and sit. If I do them on on film, then I can't go on and do other things because they need to to set a little bit. Now I have only just put the corners on this morning, so I'm not going to be too rough with them. <laughs> um, but they have been on a few hours, a couple of hours now. I stuck this one in on the last video, I believe, as well, which is just a double pocket there. And I um, I was in a hurry to get out the house, <laughs> so I didn't stick the last one in, and um, I needed that front one to stick. But I've done that now, so that last one's in. So that's all I've done, I believe, without you. That's brought you up to speed. So today I want to, um, we put all the pockets in, didn't we? Yeah, so today I want to add some tags and some embellishments and uh, see what it needs, see what's missing. But there's a couple of pieces that I still haven't made to put in it that I wanted to get made. One of them was this um, this tag that came from Tanya at Tatty Treasure. Now I've put the little bulb pin in it, it may or may not stay. Um, but if you remember, I, I couldn't work out what it was made of, and she did answer me in the comments. It's um, Tyvek, yeah, which is a, um, a really strong material that's oh, it's used for all sorts of things. I, I gather the postal um, services abroad make envelopes out of this because it's so strong. And I do know the building industry use it as well. So they use like a sticky backed type to, um, I think it's to seal, uh, seal houses when they build them. Yeah. In the middle you know not on the outside <laughs> seal them from condensation and things like that yeah so um really interesting really tactile so i'd like to put something on this and um use it in the booklet but of course it's how well things will actually stick to it i don't know because it is the feeling is of plastic yeah so it's obviously got some plastic um elements in there so that's that's going to be interesting and i haven't thought anything more about that <laughs> so i will leave that on the back burner but hopefully we'll do that today um and then the other thing that i brought that i wanted to put in that i haven't yet is a guest check and i said i wanted to put it in as a um as a flip up now and check the size so let's have a little look if that will happen yeah it will that'll make a good flip up 
or even a flip down. No, I think we'll, we won't go too bizarre. We'll have a flip up, so it will need a little bit of decoration and I, I feel I might need to um, just strengthen that top bit a little bit. I love the perforations, just like I did in the layaway tag. Um, so I think I'll leave the back for journaling. I don't know if it's got lines on it or they just... Oh, it has lots. It's got lines and it says thank you, really faint. I don't know if you can even see that. That's brilliant. Yeah, so I really only need to... Um, uh, <coughs> yes, embellish the front. That's it. That's what I was looking for. I pulled two more tags out of stash um, that are not the red, green, gold. So they are a bit greeny, but they're more... Um, possibly will go in with the... Um, the colours of this journal we'll see but you know I'd like to use as much out of stash as possible um, because I've got a box I treated myself to a box when we were shopping I'll show you it later on at the end of the video um, it's a Christmas box and whatever doesn't go in there to go away for next year I am not keeping for Christmas so that's the challenge I've set myself I think it'll be fine it's not too small a box it's not very big though um, yeah, so I'm trying to use up bits. Obviously, I've got a couple of journals still that are going to be filled for presents. Um, right, I'm off the topic now. And then when I was packing away, I, I saw these. These will be things that you've seen um, that I brought along with me. And that just fell on there, which I liked. I thought, oh, that looks nice on there. And then that on the top. No, I don't know. I don't think I showed you this last time. I might have it was that's upside down it was last time that i saw that now i could put that on there it's beautiful isn't it but what i would do with it i don't know but i do like it and i've just spotted that there as well that's a similar color too isn't it anyway let's not um, i might might put that together at the end and, and do something with it depending on how much time um, i use up and then I, I simply have the tags that need holes through from the kit and um inking round i'm not going to sew those Okay, so uh, we'll start with this, shall we? I've brought a few little things out of my pot. Again, I went through um, and tried to pull some, just some little tiny bits out, might or might not use, that were, were not Christmas. So winter, um, but you know, sparkly flowers, greenery, but not Christmas per se, because this is a winter album. Um, so we might use those as embellishments. I've obviously got these little bits still from the kit. So some little tiddly tickets uh, and tags and some bigger, bigger tickets. Yeah, so they're going to be my embellishments. And then I've just got some silver bling. I'm wondering if I might be able to put some of that on there, actually. Um, but we'll have a look at that in a minute. Let's have a look at this one. Right, I'm going to bring, I think, the green mat in just to and move the, the book out of the way. Um, yeah, just to give me a bit of better surface to be working on. Right, so it would be nice to have something from the kit on here, actually, wouldn't it? Um, a little bit. What am I going to use for background? So I could stencil, I could stamp, um, or I could put some papers on. Let's just have a look. Let's just have some of these little bits out. That's a tiny postcard. We don't want those out then. Oh, that's sweet, isn't it? Let's leave him out for now. Um, I've got a bigger ticket cut out. Yeah, put these away. Okay, and just leave a few bits out. These may or may not go on this guest check, I don't know, but... And I'm just going to dig under you, so I'll try not to knock you. Oh no, don't get anything else out. We've got papers here. Let's have a look. I don't know if you can see this little pile. I think you might be able to just... Yep, so I had a few papers out from making bits earlier that could go on it. From um, the envelopes, I think, yeah. we uh, Those two weren't. We embellished some envelopes, didn't we? I do still like this. I like all the writing on it, so I don't particularly want to hide any of the writing, so maybe... We just want a piece that's coming in there like that, quite like that, right? Glue book, glue page. Ooh, I'm falling. Let's turn these over because they have got things on them we don't particularly want to 
show on camera they're they're uh, they're just printed pages of things i no longer need um let's ink it of course let's have a lid off the ink i think uh, the coldness is making everything even the ink <laughs> not so uh, not so lush and runny right i'm trying to talk up again so i don't know if it's me but i have noticed listening to my videos that um they are the sound seems to be deteriorating i don't know if it's I've got back into mumbling again, so I'm going to try and talk louder today. I don't know if it's um, that the microphone is, um, you know, getting old, because if I remember rightly, it did come with a spare, you know, fluffy thing that goes over it, so maybe that needs changing. Um, I don't know. I can't think of this. Or if I'm just not putting the microphone in the right place. Or it could just be a mixture of all three of those things, so I'm going to try and... Um, talk louder I've put the microphone really close to me high up on my jumper um, and let's see if that um, that helps I mean it'd be difficult to know because I'm talking up anyway won't it but um, we can but try I do like this is a from one of Nanine's kits I think that's a C she had some A B's and C um, letters on one of the kits we think that's a bit big let's try a little one that one's quite nice quite busy um some text behind it maybe let's just ink it up a little and i'm just trying to think what paper i might put across the top there maybe some of that green lines that we've been using So I hope you're all well and uh, yeah, getting some crafting done, that's definitely too much. Um, a lot of you have told me now that, that wherever you are in the world that the cold weather, most of you, the cold weather is now uh, getting you. So winter, uh, apart I think from <laughs> Australia obviously, which are I believe in summer, oh dear, I hope it's not going to start banging next door. Um, yeah, so most of you are in winter, how are you faring? Are you staying in where it's warm? Um, I've just about decided I'm only going out when I have to now, which um, I am a bit of a summer going out person. <laughs> I do like to tuck myself away in winter anyway. I think that comes from having uh, the arthritis a bit. And, um, I mean, I love the winter weather. I just love it through the window. <laughs> probably just old age I guess when I was young I would have um, I definitely would have been out and about now I'm wondering if a bigger one might just be the key here I think it is um, yeah so are you the same are you staying in and, and crafting and doing as little as possible I thought we'd finished the Christmas shopping yesterday but of course as I've come to wrap things up I've discovered a couple of things that I don't have for people that I need um, yeah, so it might be a quick half an hour or an hour pop to the store today. We'll see. Um, but I'm sure you've noticed on the news things COVID-wise here. Well, probably everywhere, but here for me, <laughs> obviously it's here that affects me, you know, are getting bad. And um, if you've been with me, you'll know the saga of me trying to get a, a booster. A booster jab for my covid which has been due a month now really um i finally did get booked in so i've got booked in but not until the 9th of january that was the first next available spot um here where i am um so other than a walk-in which of course i've tried oh i was going to put something on there wasn't i anyway i've got it booked i, I am still going to try a walk-in um you know if we find one that's um it's doable that I could actually um, manage to um, queue in so we will keep looking but if not the worst comes to worst I'm gonna uh, wait and have that one so it's really a matter of staying away from people as well as much as I can now obviously I've got Neil that wasn't anywhere near big enough I've got Neil going out to work um, although he works in the care industry and uh, 
you know, they're all, including himself, tested daily. Um, visitors are tested and, you know, he works in a, in a, a home for young, autistic young adults. So I'm not overly worried. I'm going to have to cut that with scissors to get it the right. Not overly worried about Neil, but of course I've got my nephew Luke living with me, who's 17, of course. He works and, uh, yeah, he's in the food industry, so he's mixing, <laughs> he's mixing with the public and his friends. So, oh, I've cut it down too small there now. What am I doing? I need to stop talking and start concentrating on what I'm doing a bit. Um, so yeah, I'm trying, <laughs> sad as it sounds, I'm trying to stay away from him as much as possible. Um, particularly until I get my booster. Luckily the house is a nice big house, so <laughs> we can be, uh, you know, we can talk and be sociable at a good distance. Yeah, so all that to say, that's another reason why I'm not going out um, more than I need to, but obviously I do need to get these two Christmas presents, so that will be that. And this, you know, I need to uh, protect mum as well. So she's doing the same. I'm going to mum's for Christmas, I think I told you that. This is just a matter of keep shaving it off until I get it the size I want it. I suppose I could have just stuck it on and cut round it. Not got my crafting brain in gear this morning, never. But you know me, I like just sitting snipping bits of paper, so we'll we'll call that a bit of fun, shall we? Right, let's put this on here. It's just um just giving it a bit of strength really. I don't mind the uh Oops, sorry, not for them. I don't actually mind the colour of the... I don't know if to call it a label or what. I know it's a guess check. I don't mind the colour of the paper, shall we say. Per se, I just wanted to strengthen it a little. Oh, come on, slide. I know you're out glitter, but you usually have a little bit of slide in you. Yeah, that wasn't too bad considering, was it? And I'm just wondering if to put a little bit of washi on that. Um, let's have a look what we've got washi wise. Have I got that? That's um, now which one was it? Finish your sentence, Denise. So on the perforation <laughs> to give it a bit of strength, and then the other thing that I didn't finish saying was have I got the one that's got the back in but is clear let's try this so I won't glue it because it doesn't need too much it's not holding it it's just giving it a little bit of yeah that's it a little bit of extra strength when it's um, flipped up a few times I've made feel like I've made a bit of a meal out of that I'll take that off there now I um, still think that could, if I wanted it to, could still have something across here. Let's chuck those tiddly bits away or I'll be at it forever. Um, I mean, it is quite a big cluster that I've made on there, isn't it? Um, I wonder if a label, a plain label might bring it back in a little bit. I've got those numbers. So these are the labels from Nanine at Collage Type that I love so much. So I really want something quite plain. I like that but it's a little bit too big. Unless I cut it down and just put half of it across. No, it's not the right colour either. That's more the colour. Right, let's, let's see how we go. Hmm, possibly. That's too much like the shape of that, but I do like the colour. Um, can you see what I'm looking in yet? Some lovely shaped uh, tags in here once I start. That's nice as well, isn't it? Oh, we've got one with some. No, because that's got the text on right. What about that one? I could cut that one down. It's got like a line. 
there. Now as I take that off, I miss it. That's one way that you know something is... Let's leave these two out, put this lot away, and then there's not too much distracting me, us. Right, we don't want to close, so I'll leave you open. I just noticed the pin is out of my uh, glue. There we go. <coughs> right. Um, now, if this goes on, I probably don't want the whole thing. But I do quite like that alphabet down the side. I'm thinking something over there. I think the whole thing would be... We look through the camera, sometimes it's a different view. I've heard people say, that's definitely too big, so yeah, I think I want this on, and I like that alphabet on. I wonder if I can trim it a bit up there. Straight would be good. Let's see if I can squeeze it on now without it taking over too much. Up there. I like it and again I can't really say why or you know because it's quite full on but I just like it the colours go so I'm going to put it on what I haven't done is looked at it in the book against the pages in the book so let's hope it goes <laughs> um, yeah, so I was thinking of putting a bit of stamping on, but I think because I've I've put such a a fussy cluster on there now, I don't think I will. Um, because that would be more more fussy. I'm wondering about just a touch of can't get me draw. Come here. Oh, why are you not in your packet? Just a tiny touch of a swirl. Up here, perhaps counterbalance all that. You know, it's quite heavily um, decorated at the bottom, isn't it? Yeah, so just a hint like that. That's better. I need to find the cover for that. It's not in it. Right. Yeah, so I did say I was going to tidy my desk before I started, but I haven't. <laughs> I've just got more stuff out on it. Uh, yeah, that's going to give that a bit of strength there now. I'm pleased I did that. I need to ink the back. I wonder if I ought to put a little bit of swirl in the corner at the back. That would just tie that in as well, wouldn't it? Because that thank you is there, but it's very, very faint. Let's just go down the bottom here with a bit of something. Nothing much. Yeah, lovely. Still my favourite uh, Tim Holtz stencil, that swirl. It just goes with any project you're doing. Okay, so of course that could just go in as a um, mm -hmm, tag, but I think I'd like it in as a flip. So, yeah, I like it on the page actually. So I don't dislike it on there. Let's see if there's anywhere else. That I think is needing something. preferred it on the one with the flowers at the bottom to be fair which was like this one wasn't it no, I liked it near the front I'm not going to look any further I did like it on that page and that is where I am going to put it okay um just thinking will you be able to write on it not going to be easy is it to write on but It can just be used for hiding what you write under there and you could embellish it if you couldn't manage to write on it yet. Talked myself into it. <laughs> um, ah, right now, this bit that's going to be stuck down. Washy. So I'm going to put lots of this on it and just give it a second or two to become tacky. Not too much because it will dry, especially the bit on the paper. And then I'll have to come back to it and see if it, uh, it has stuck 
you know, properly enough to be used as a flip. Um, if it hasn't, I could always stitch, staple or um, paper clip. So we'll see. I'll just give it a minute like that. I'll put my lids on everything. Yeah, so I'm lovely and warm with my fire on, but I have to say I've got a little bit of draft around my ankles. Gosh, and I don't like it. <laughs> I'm going to have to have a blankie over my legs, I think, if I'm going to stay in here today. Although it'll probably warm up as the sun hits the windows. The sun isn't actually on full on the conservatory yet. OK, so what we're going to do next is... Oops. Um, put all these papers to one side. Put the tags in, the pockets that we've got already. See if we need to make any tags and um, see if we can use any more up and then we'll see if we've got time at the end to do something with that silver silver doily now the, the one thing i did want to show you was um what have i done with it hmm, there with the um if you remember i got a bag of these uh hole enforcers yeah from tanya and i've been looking for the punch uh, to create them and I haven't found it on Amazon anywhere not on the uh, you know the UK Amazon anyway um, so if you've got a link to one pop it in my comments will you please and I'll go in and grab one but uh, yeah I can't find one anywhere so I was thinking about how I could make my own and I've managed a little bit look so I was I uh, cut out with this I think it's might be one and a half or one and a quarter centimeter um, across I'm just going to find a piece of paper and I just cut out a circle I'm going to double it over because it does like it thicker I'll go near the edge so I can get a few out Oop. yeah I've got a circle out like that and I just glued it on without the hole on the actual tag I've done that one is the one that isn't done let's see if there's one I can do it on yeah there's a hole on there as well which will give me somewhere to <laughs> somewhere to aim for without marking the middle what have I done with my circle I've put it down oh, there's one here anyway oh there it is um yeah and all I did was glued it on and then I used my hole punch to punch where I thought the center was <laughs> and it kind of made a oh I should have inked round that before I put it on and obviously let it dry but I'll do this one with you and I kind of found the circle with the big the center yeah and that's one way of making obviously letting it dry is the key I've said that before when I've done these things and inking it would have been good too <coughs> um, I'm just looking for the ones I've got that Tanya sent me I'm done with them there they are so I'm just going to stick one on the back now of course I could have done it with a little hole and then you've seen me do that before stick one on the back and use the big hole it's uh, there's all sorts of ways of doing this. I just thought while I was waiting for that to dry, I would um, show you show you what I've been playing with this morning. And these need doing anyway, so. Well, not really playing with, I only did that one. <laughs> yeah, again, I should have perhaps inked that hole, but yeah. So I can make some in, you know, because I was saying I would like them in, sometimes I would like them in specific, um, papers that I'm actually using I know that one isn't but yeah so I would still like the actual punch if anybody can uh, send me in the direction of one that would be that would be very much appreciated um, right I nearly forgot about this tie bit one so so we've got those three punched now and uh, oh look I stuck it up there but that can be fixed can't it because we're junk journaling so what shall we put over it a flower a white yeah perfect don't think that needs inking either that's why I love this craft so much when you muck up you know or get a little error shall we say a little tiny annoyance there's always something you can do to hide it or 
Uh, I've said many times before, if you can't hide it, it's junk journaling, so just embrace it, <laughs> make it part of what you've made. Yeah, <laughs> so that goes all right on there. That was lucky, wasn't it? So I think we've got it to stick, but we'll give it a few more minutes um, while we do something with this. I'll just punch this out because I do love this little tag. Um, and I don't think I'm even going to put a reinforcer in there because I think it would be a bit a bit big for the tiny little tag. So that this will probably go in one of those um, little pockets at the front. Okay, so um, what can we put on here? I've got some lovely blingy stuff. I'm all about the bling at the minute, you've probably noticed. So shall we go with bling? I do like that. I do like the snowflake. See, those are red really. There is a touch of red in it, but and I tried this, didn't I? I liked this on it. I really can't see that that's going to stick to it, to be honest. That'd be nice though, wouldn't it? Right, and what I'm going to do is try some um, Try some paper on it because it needs, uh, it definitely needs a bit of a background. I wonder if it um, inks up at all or if it just runs off with it being, I mean it must have some paper element to it. It's certainly grabbing it, that looks nice. Is it going to stay on? I don't know. Let's try a piece of this on it. I do like my corners at the moment when I'm, uh, I won't call it decoupaging today. <laughs> I have a couple of videos where I've called it decoupaging all the way through. Collaging, yeah. Next door's dog's not happy by the sounds of it. Right, and what do you think's the best glue for here? Let's go with art glitter. Ouch, stuck pinning myself. Let's go with the art glitter and see. Um, I'm thinking probably if I just stick something on it and leave it while I do something else to properly adhere, properly stick, we might be okay. We won't know until we try it, will we? So, there we go. Seems to stuck for now, so we'll just leave it on there and come back to it. Um, in 10 minutes or so, and then we'll know. Let's put all my bits up there. Right, let's start putting some of these tags in here. Right, what have we got that definitely needs to go in? Right, I wanted to know about uh, string through the tops. Gosh, am I filming? Yes. <laughs> So yeah, some, and I think I said last video that I was going to go for, excuse me rattling, um, eyelash trim, which I, is what I'm just rattling for in here, digging. Okay, so I think I'll just leave, I've got a lot of greens, haven't I? Just leave them all out, I think. I've also got this wrinkly, no, I don't want that green one. Okay, so, oh, that was just dancing out there. I don't want gold. So, well, I don't think I want the blue. No. <laughs> so, greens. The pink is very pale, so I might, I don't know, but definitely this, this white might be the thing. I think it's white, yeah. Um, the thing is, it's lively stuff, this. <laughs> It fights me. So let's see if I can get some in these ones that I've already done. Whoops. I'll be covered in the little fluffy bits. Yeah, I think that white looks nice against the... Uh... Oh, we might put those on some embellishments later. Yeah, I like the white on that one, definitely. Maybe a bit of green in this one. Like this, it's more of a vibrant green, isn't it? You can see I like it because there's not much of it left. 
and maybe uh, putting a bit too much through I don't know but it's not bulky that's the nice thing about um, eyelash trim so you can put a lot in and it's it's very floppy and it's very thin maybe I should tie it so it doesn't come undone yeah we can tie it in bows and all sorts of things I'll just leave that one long I think because it's crinkly and nice um, this one I don't know how oops, how long I want it at the bottom so I'm not I've left the bottom to cut off um, so I put a bit of the darker one in just for just so that we've got some ready trimmed up but I know there's some there are some bigger pockets that's why I'm thinking we might have to make a couple of tags so I probably need to get a move on I'm dilly dallying again aren't I which um I mean it doesn't matter too much the length of the video doesn't matter I know you like longer videos the trouble is at the moment YouTube is so busy uploading them so you know it can take a it can take all day for me to upload an hour video um, just because you it's YouTube so busy and uploading so slowly all right I've got fluff all over my book did I do three I thought I'd done three must not have um move this out of the way because we're getting very very hemmed in here with everything right what other tags have we got so we've got that nice double tag I really like that I'm not going to put string through that one that's just going in a pocket as it is so I'm using uh, walnut stain for those of you that are not with me all the time walnut strain stain distress ink from Tim Holtz by Tim Holtz from Ranger. Um, uh, I tend to just have one on the go, <laughs> whichever one it might be at that time and use it until it's you know nearly gone. So I started on vintage photo. I've still got some vintage photo, but when I got this darker one, um, I kind of put that one to one side. This is the one I go to all the time at the minute, unless I'm using a color. So I have got the sapphire blue, but that is very, very dark, I've discovered bit too dark I perhaps want a, a lighter blue next time my pink's all gone so I definitely need to replace the pink I've got green and I've got lilac and I think I've got a scattered straw as well but these are the ones that I uh, this is the one the, the browns and this one in particular um, that I keep coming back to right so what have I got there so I've got the tickets the double um, tag I've got a journal card, I've got the envelope which can go, I don't know, perhaps around a page and that little tiddly tiny tag there. I think that's it for tags, there are all bits of paper that can make tags. Obviously that Tyvek one once we get it going. So those three which you've just seen me do and then um, apart from that tags wise at the minute all I've got, we don't seem to have many journal cards do we? All I've got are these from the kit which simply need, that's a bigger version of that one, Look, let's do that. I just love the shape of it. I um, think I'll cut it out and then maybe put a... Shall I just stick that on? Because it does go and then cut it out. I think I will. Um, yeah, what was I saying? <laughs> Don't know, it's gone. Was it about making tags? So sorry. <laughs> I know I do it a lot frustrating maybe I was talking about this I just love the shape of it I love it when we start getting tags in the pockets and um, I think I'll just let that set a little minute before I cut that hole out um, these don't necessarily all need the hole cutting through I think that one does yeah I'm putting a bit of embellishment I think I probably said to you last time it's the pages are very beautiful so they're not going to need an awful lot anyway but we will put an odd an odd thing here and there this one's just going to have a hole with nothing in it yeah an odd piece of foo-foo here and there just to liven it up a bit of excitement right so we've got some to go at that one just needs a hole cut in so let's have a look Now I do know that I want that little tiny, what did I do with it? 
want that little tiny one in here because it's so sweet um, right let's do the uh, the pockets in the book first am I on camera there uh, just because I don't need that the uh, front and back ones will just take loads so I can just put in them everything that's left over and maybe a couple of Nanine's tickets too we'll see right so um, tag or journal card tag or journal card Yeah, I like the fact that it covers a lot of that music paper up and that it sticks out the top. So um, I think the journal cards, that's very tiny. Is that the only journal card I've got? We might have to quickly make a couple of journal cards, you know. No, I did have some card, didn't I? This. <laughs> Obviously, I can't make it out of that, can I? Because it's, it's going in there. I've got a dotty one. What do we think to that? Have to be that way, won't it? What do we think about there? At least I've got kind of line to follow because I can follow the dots which are in a straight line. Um, <coughs> excuse me. It's more like a tag, isn't it? But uh, what do we think to the dots and the? I suppose the dots could be on the back and I could put some something pretty on the front so not the actual kit um, I've got this lined paper that's not really the front is it it might be nice though let's just use it up see what we come up with I didn't quite expect to have to make one quite this quickly but um, I suppose if I'd have gone through the book and looked what I needed I would have been more organised, but I think half the fun is doing it with you. Like I, I say to you quite a few times, I don't like to just come on and say, this is what I've made and this is how where it's going. But, uh, not the kind of video I like to watch uh, mainly, so I just assume that you are of a similar persuasion. That doesn't look very straight, so I think what I'm going to have to do is cut it on the guillotine. Um, so, where's the other one that's set in? No, I've moved it now. I will just let it set a few minutes and come back to it. So we'll probably just stick an embellishment on it and pop it in there. Um, perhaps a label. And then we'll move on while it's setting. Yep, yeah, so I'm happy with that one. Just journaling on the back. I didn't know if I was going to put something on there, but I really like it. I'm not going to. Oh, I said perhaps across there, didn't I? Maybe a ticket or something. I um, don't particularly want to make that angle. Are there any teeny tiny ones? Did I get them out somewhere? Yeah, I see one. Let me see one. Oops, excuse me, squeaking on the table. Uh, I think he just about fits. Um, let's trim him down a smidge. Oh, try not to cut my cold fingers. They are cool this morning. I said it was nice and warm in here, but it's, uh, I don't know, it feels to me like it's cooling down a bit. Maybe it's because I'm sat still and not moving about. I was moving about earlier. Um, yeah, that just brings it into the, uh, the colours of the book a little bit, of the journal. Good okay, Mum, I know you're cold. I had to leave you laid down, didn't I? Yeah. So I think I told you yesterday I haven't seen the squirrel and I still haven't. I don't know if it's just that I'm busy and I've got my eyes down and uh, yeah not concentrating on anything I still want something on there I don't know what but I still want something on it uh, yeah not looking around me but uh, no definitely haven't seen him still it's not really a snowflake kind of no and it's not bling is it I'll have to come back because 
can't see anything in front of me that I want. Right, I did just put that in there um, just to show that it needed something in it, but I think it's too small. Well, it might not be too small, but it needs something bigger behind it. I'm wondering if a piece of this behind it. We do the same as we did with the other one. Trim it down following the diamonds, hope you can see. That straightens that one off and we want a couple in there. Go with that one. Are we straight across the bottom? I don't know, but if I if I use the pattern to create a straight line. It will be better, won't it? How tall are we? We're no taller now. We are a little bit. Let's see. We're still too fat. Yes, still too fat. Come down another one. Maybe just the layered look will help. Um, just reach my box which is just behind you on the floor with my other oh it's still a bit tight um my other ready-made ephemera <laughs> that word would not come it's quite like the layered look of that let's just ink around it because I've got three of those pockets, we've made we've only made one uh, tag base, haven't we? Uh, yeah, tag base, I guess, at the minute. So I'm going to come across the same issue with the other two. So I'll just grab in and see if I've got anything ready made that will go in. Yeah, well, obviously, I can stick something on the back of there. I do quite like the layer. Right, bear with me a minute, I will try not to knock you. So this is the one that I'm on about. So I didn't particularly want uh, Christmassy things in it. But I'm thinking something like that. Um, it's very quite green, but um, it might it might go in one of the. What's that? Ooh, that one might as well, might it? Right. So we'll leave that there and see what we come across. Let's get rid of some of these bits of rubbish. That's it. Okay. Hmm. There's a lot in there, but it's quite strong because it's an envelope, so it's doubled over. I like the way that green pops out the top of the other bluey greens. Gosh, my hands are cold. I might have to stop soon and go and have a cup of tea and perhaps put my fire up higher. Yeah, I like that in there, popping out, actually. Yeah, let's leave that. Oh, cranky, I have been filming a while, so, yeah, no wonder I've got cold. Right, let's get these filled. Yes, we wanted something in there. Was there anything that would go in there ready-made? This is the beauty of having, they're all quite red. And I don't want Santa, I don't want Christmas. What was in those? Yeah, Christmas songs. Um, do you know what? I'm just thinking it would be nice in there a piece of the paper for whoever gets the journal um, to use. I've got this piece, haven't I? Yeah, I think folded in half. Now it's just white on the back, but I don't see any issue with that. The um, The envelope, the music inside the envelope is white. I love these little stains on it. Yeah, I think that's a good idea in there. Not too heavy. Ah, but is it thick enough to push in and out? Oh, maybe we're glued up. <laughs> Let's just grab my ruler. Oh yeah. How did we manage that? Let's have a go both sides. I'm sure I checked that when I, I need to turn it this way. Well and truly stuck. Denise. That's it. Hmm. Well it wasn't well and truly but it was a, a little blob on both sides. See if it'll go in now. Oops I've bent the end of the paper now. Put it in that way it's a bit stronger. 
yeah be a nice place to keep a Christmas card maybe like that little holly hanging out as well yep super that filled that um, yeah I wanted to put something on this to bring it back into uh, you know kind of the red flowery type thing did I have anything mm, not really did I don't know why I went with the blue. I suppose there is some blue in it. Um, I'm wondering if I just make it tag shaped and put a hole and some some kind of a yarn, yarn fibres through the top. Might uh, bring it back in now. I'd like one of those little slot cuts in there, but as you know. I don't have one so we'll have to go with a hole um, and I'm not going to reinforce it because I'm going to put quite a few fibres in it hopefully so I'm thinking if I go with a strand of white and a strand of green through there together if I can Oops. I might just this green. Yeah, might just tie it in that little bit more that I was hoping for. The thing is, can I get the two through? Let's move them out of the way. I can always push them through with a, a needle if they won't go of their own accord. Oh, I've got them. Let's open them up. Pull them through. Right, what do we think? Make a bow with the green and leave the white hanging out. Sorry if you couldn't see then it was... I don't know if I've left myself enough room for bow. Let's see. Enough yarn. Oh. Come on, oh, the white got the white taffled in. I'll try again. You get out the way. This is white fluff. <laughs> Come on, play the game. With all those threads stopping it coming through. Oh, come on! You're so close. You're teasing. I'll give it one more go. Undo. What I need is another hand so I can hold all that white out the way. That's when the white's getting in the way when I'm pulling that through. I'm pulling white as well. Oh, how annoying. Right, I'm just going to leave it. Tie a knot in it so it don't come undone. You naughty thread. Right, so I might, I might tie a bow and stick it on in the green when I get a minute. Mm, still needs, I just feel it needs something more greeny on there but I'm gonna leave it for now and come back to it let's get these pockets filled oh will you go in there a little bit get lost a bit I'm thinking I might like you over a page yeah I will um, oh, I've got copper but I think a silver one might uh, paper clips what I'm looking for might be better with these colours, yeah. Let's go with silver. I might just tie a bit of something on the top of that to make it pretty. Um, so we've got the postcard. Yeah, that's more of the green, isn't it? I'm just wondering if another another tab as well in there. What else did I have? Here they all are. Yeah, I've got everything out again on my table. I've got that same little bird looking green. That one. 
yeah, that's nice. Another layered look again. Um, I can't believe how time's got away from me. It doesn't really go in there, does it? I don't know. I want something on here. Might put that row of tickets in as a belly band, actually. I had a ticket, didn't I? Oh, all my tickets. Let's cut one out. Ooh. That's the same as the paper behind. Right, let's have that one. Sorry if you can hear Mr. Next Door's car. Hopefully he's going out in it and not working on it. <laughs> we'll see. Although I won't be much longer because... Yep. Yeah. I've been on a long time now. I've been on, yeah, nearly an hour. This is going to take some uploading. I think what I'm going to have to do is stop and do another video finishing it off because I know you love to see the embellishments. So when I've put this down, I'm going to stop and um, yeah, I'll do another video. Oh, upside down. Carrying on from where I am just so that you get to see it completely embellished and finished because I would think there's a good half an hour, if not more, work in it. Okay, so thank you very much for joining me. Give me a thumbs up if you like what you've seen so far. If you've got any ideas, you know, if you were shouting at the camera, do this, do that. Uh, yeah, comment, let me know. I'm always up for ideas. And um, I'll be back on tomorrow with a video finishing off, embellishing and filling. Okay, have a lovely day then and I'll see you soon. Bye bye.